Hi, Casey Durango of Go Keto with Casey here. Today I'm just going to show you some photos of food. People say they like that. Okay. Sorry about that. My smartwatch just buzzed at me. Um, a little background noise. I am just going to show you some of the foods that we eat around here. They're in no particular order. And we're starting off with pizza. Several of these dishes I have uh, made videos about how I prepared them. This is salmon uh, sauteed in coconut oil and butter with some broccoli, avocado, and lime. That is, and many of these dishes are my husband's servings, not mine, because um, sometimes I'm just not that hungry. This is something my husband made. These are little pork bites made from pork belly, which he sauteed up, a little American cheese, a little jalapeno, and a bit of sour cream. And they're really decadent and delicious and satisfying. And uh, my lovely maid is a more creative cook than I. So he just kind of came up with this one day and um, cheap and cheerful, as the Brits would say. Here we have salmon cakes. This is canned salmon mixed with some crushed pork rinds, some egg, some chopped onion, and uh, I think parsley. I, I don't remember what I put in, maybe Old Bay seasoning. And those colorful things on the side are different colored cherry tomatoes and a little bit of orange bell pepper with some homemade ranch dressing in the background. Uh, you know, you make a, a bunch of salmon salad and you can eat off of it for a long time. Now, this is beef liver, which is a favorite around here. I know a lot of people don't love liver. It's very nutritious. This is just cooked up in some bacon fat with some sliced tomato, cucumber, and homemade uh, coleslaw with red cabbage. This is another pork belly recipe um, that my husband really likes. Tiny little bits of pork belly sauteed up with some onion, some bell pepper, whatever we happen to have on hand. I think there's probably some jalapeno in there as well. And then served over spiralized zucchini. To, to his taste, this reminds him of one of his favorite meals at one of our favorite Asian restaurants. And, you know, I, I think I put some naturally brewed soy sauce, a little bit of ginger in it, and, you know, it again, so simple. These plates, by the way, are not dinner plates, they are luncheon plates, and some of these are bread plates. Ooh, look who that is. There's my sweet dog, Jack, who is um, ever the optimist, is hoping that this plate of scallops and shrimp that are sitting, being seasoned, will leap off the counter and that he will be able to eat them. Uh, that is not what happened that day, although it's a good bet that I will drop things because I'm a, I'm a, prodigious klutz. Here is the finished cooked product. It's just shrimp and scallops, and I cooked these actually in the air fryer. The little metal, metal skewers came with the air fryer, and I cooked them in, um, I think, you know, not for long. You don't really have to cook seafood and uh, shellfish very long. It cooks quickly, so this was probably eight minutes, seven minutes or something like that in the air fryer at about 375. And Oh, and you know, let's not forget our homegrown. Those are some eggs from our uh, backyard chickens. This was earlier in the growing season. Uh, some okra, uh, cucumber, some jalapenos from our garden. Those are bigger than cherry, but smaller than plum tomatoes in the background. Some green beans and some blueberries from our garden. And always enjoy picking those. Here is a platter, uh, charcuterie that was at a, an in-person Go Keto with Casey meetup that I had, and one of the attendees ordered this at the wine shop where we meet. And we just had to leave off all the carbs, and they knew exactly what we were talking about. And it was, you know, a lovely plate, and the person was kind enough to share. There's some goat cheese in the lower left-hand corner. Just meat and cheese and olives. It's perfectly keto. Now, here's, you know, our perennial favorite. This is a ribeye that was grilled on the big green egg to perfection, a little pat of butter, some homegrown um, cukes and tomatoes and uh, salt and pepper is the way we season it. 
and there's, you know, this, the food we could eat every day is a ribeye. My husband and I have, have said that often. Now, here is some things a little bit different. Those are, look at those giant tomatoes. Those are chocolate striped tomatoes from our garden. Mashed cauliflower, and on top of that bed of cauliflower, Italian sausages that I got from Costco, cut up, sauteed a bit, and threw in some, um, there goes my smartwatch again, um, some onion. It's, you know, almost like comfort food. Here is a plate that my lovely mate made for me. I, I was laid up for a couple of days and hadn't eaten. And uh, so when I was ready to eat, this is a bacon cheeseburger. Um, you can't see much of the burger because of their cheese and the bacon and the avocado. And he presented it beautifully. And it was yummy. And then we wind back to pizza. This is, it, the crust is made out of cheese and eggs and the topping is cheese and jalapeno and pepperoni. It's very good. So again, just for your viewing pleasure, and I'll try to remember to put links to some of the videos on how I made some of these things below. Thanks a lot. Bye.